So from the little demonstration I had at the beginning of the video, I was showing off my drywall stilts here. Um, these, the brand is uh, Pentagon, and it's like Pentagon tall guys with a Z, like G U Y Z. And so they're mainly meant for people who like do drywall work, like on construction works. So they can like get up somewhere really high and like use like this the um, mortar mix, and, or, or not mortar, or I guess yeah, I guess a mortar and painting stuff to get up really high somewhere. So you don't have to like get down, move the ladder, go back up again, go down move over get the ladder go back up again this here just kind of help makes it easier but you also have to be sure that you're not afraid of heights <laughs> which thankfully I'm not um, but so these here range from uh, uh, two feet to 40 inches you can adjust the height by undoing that bolt there there's one on the back and there's another one over here and that one and so you can you can adjust the height um, anywhere that you can uh, you can adjust them where all these settings here um, that's the, the lowest one that's 24 inches two feet and then that's like 26 inches 28 so there's a two there's a two inch difference between each of these settings all up to 40 inches so for me, me being about mm, six foot six foot one something like that uh, uh, 40 inches uh, is, is probably like if I did 40 inches plus my height probably about nine foot five I think I'd be nine my head is nine feet five off the ground which can be pretty dangerous if you fall and hit like a cement block or something like that, which luckily I haven't had that happen. Um, I have, however, fallen over on the lowest setting. That's when I was just first training and or, or practicing uh, when I first got them. But let me um, adjust the height to the two feet, the lowest, and then I'll uh, show you how those look. So be right back. So just as a, si just as a size comparison, here's a, I, I uh, lowered this one down to the two feet and I kept this in the same 40 inches. You can see like, the difference in the heights. So there's a quite a noticeable difference because your foot goes right there. And so you'd be two feet off the ground from that setting on, on the right foot. And this one, you'd be 40 inches off the ground because your foot goes right there. So it sort of shows how much of a difference you can uh, achieve with these things. So I want my two feet setting at the two feet setting, as you can see from the the view of the camera. So I'm freestanding. I'm not holding on to anything, just just the camera actually. But let me set this down. So two feet. I mean, it actually gives you more versatility than you think it does. So I'll show you. Like, let's say I want to paint that wall over there a different color. So I just walk over there and then start painting. You know, wax on, wax off. That start painting. Move over. Another wax on, wax off, painting some more. I can probably paint up here too. Um, all that. And uh, this is when I first started that walk on with two feet. Okay. And it was scary to begin with because I was like, how do I walk on two feet? Or like two feet off the air. The scariest thing is that, <laughs> and I fall before on two feet, I, I fell before. Um, I fell forward, thankfully, not, not backwards. So I will demonstrate how that looks to fall forward. I sort of know how to fall now. So just a second, let me do this. So here we go. That's how it is to fall. Now the hard thing is getting back up because it's hard to get back up. See, so like, it's a little hard to get back up. Ugh. Nope. So this is the time I take it back off and either get to a ladder to put it back on or just take it back off and put it back on somewhere else. So hang on, I'll be right back. So thankfully, I fell forward, okay? That's just the best way to fall if you're gonna fall along the stills. I've never fallen backwards, I don't know how that feels, but the, if you notice when I fell over, I kind of bent my knees and kind of fell like that, which sort of softens the blow to everything else. It's still a bit of a shock, it is, but it's a lot better than like not bending your legs, just falling completely straight over, like way on over. So if you want to fall, fall forward and bend your knees. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to fall, like backwards or sideways, 
but I have not actually gotten to that point yet. I don't actually, I don't actually know how to fall backwards on these stills. Like, if I'm walking and I trip to stumble backwards, I don't know how you fall backwards. So, I'm just kind of knocking on wood somewhere that um, I don't do that. Or if I do, I, I live to tell a tale. Um, but one thing that I, I notice, or that you'll notice on um, if, you, if you start walking on stills, anybody, is that walking on concrete, yes, yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, in some ways, I mean, yeah, it's a little unlevel in some areas, like on the cracks and such. But for me, the hardest thing was stepping off the concrete onto the dirt because the dirt is really uneven and it's more uneven than you realize in some places. But the thing I think about is like, just keep walking. And that was hard for me to get, get used to that to begin with. I thought, if I keep walking, I'm going to fall. Well, not really. I mean, yeah, maybe so. But you'll find that if you keep walking, there are more times that you can regain your balance uh, than not. Because, like, if you start stumbling and stay still, well, it's like you got, like, this, this tall center of gravity to keep pull, to, to fall over. If you keep walking, cut, it's actually just like walking. It really is. Because, like, when you're walking, you're trusting your body just to keep your legs moving, to keep you upright. So, like, if you start falling, put your foot down. So, like, I hope you can see me. Start falling, put your foot down. Start falling, put your foot down. What are you doing uh, uh, for the, dry, uh, the stilts? So, let me put it on another setting. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so here we are about 32 inches off the ground. That's about the halfway point between uh, 24 and 40 inches. So a little bit taller. I will show you how it's like to paint that same wall again, like if I was painting the wall. So just remember about how, where I came up to on the wall when I was at like two feet. And I should be up a little higher than that now. So here we go. Let me, uh, there we go, there's that. Okay, good. Now. So here I am at 40 inches, the the uh, highest setting that I can be on, and then there's how it looks. I'm way up here now. So luckily, I haven't actually fallen from this height, but if I did, that'd be that'd be a long way to fall. Um, but from this level here, I can also paint stuff. But I can also like clean out gutters and stuff like that. Like I'll show you. Like oh, so this is this is about. I level as to me right now. I level. And so I can walk around the yard. And then here's the gutter up here. It's still water right now because we had a rain recently. But right down in there. Yep. And um, you can see by the reflection on, on the, I think, I hope you can see it, from the side glass door that, you know, that's me in the reflection there. Um, but yeah, so like I don't actually do like construction work or sheet rock work, really. But like, I just walk around, these things are, it's actually fun to walk around on these things. So that fence was just your average six foot tall fence. And so you can see I, I can, you can almost see, well, when I ride up against the fence, you can almost see my feet. So like I'm, I'm almost like completely taller than that fence, at least still. Um, but the one thing that I find, or the one thing that is are not good at is being like sneaky, I guess. He's like, I'll show you, I don't know if you can hear the squeaking in this, which I apologize if it's too loud. But um, it's like, I can't like sneak up on somebody like to play a joke on them. It's like, I'll show you, hang on. Not, not exactly the most quiet thing in the world to hear, but it's still fun to play around on. 
just like you're on the roof right now the roof of the wall I was painting or playing like I was gonna paint uh, but so you're on top of the roof and so I can see you I'm, I'm almost eye level I have to look up a little bit more but uh, yeah so let me get you off the roof here like I say hopefully I am able to I've learned enough not to fall from this height because I mean, I probably could be all right, but it probably hurt a lot worse than fall from two feet, like I showed in the beginning of this video. Um, anyway, so be sure to look out for more stoke videos in the future. I'll be posting more of them on the on my channel. And uh, I guess with that being said, have a great day. Take it away, Hayden. Have a great day. Be seeing you.